What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Outdoor Chef Life. I'm Taku, and I often get asked this question, where can I buy fresh seafood if I can't go catch it myself or go foraging or fishing for it myself? And that's a good question. Since we're in this quarantine at the moment and we can't go out as much, I figured it would be a good time for me to show you where you can get your own seafood and make it at home. Today, the company I'm recommending is Riviera Seafood Club. And let me tell you a little bit about them. It's a small family owned business. It's actually two brothers and two sisters that run the whole company. Their goal is to provide sustainable premium grade fish to directly to consumers like you and I. They do next day delivery so you can get the fish as fast as possible and as fresh as possible. So they just sent me over some tuna. This is ranched bluefin tuna. The difference between ranch and farmed, uh, ranch tuna is actually caught in the wild and they raise it uh, in a really big pen offshore. The reason why that's more sustainable, they can just control what they harvest. So right now in this situation is a pretty good example since a lot of sushi restaurants are closed at the moment. They don't have to harvest as many fish so they can just let them grow and they can choose when to harvest exactly and to the perfect amount and have no wastage whatsoever. So uh, that's the sustainability efforts for ranched tuna. I wanna make a very simple dish that you can create as well, just a tuna bluefin tuna donburi and it's gonna be absolutely delicious. First, I'm gonna start with some cucumber. So I have a bowl of sliced cucumber here and we're just gonna make a snowmono, which is just a vinegared cucumber or pickled cucumber, but this is just gonna be a really quick pickle. Um, I'm gonna start with some salt, kosher salt, and we're gonna put, you're gonna put a good amount. It needs a lot, maybe a little less than that. Maybe half a handful, yeah. And we'll just mix this up. I'm gonna do about half a tablespoon of sugar. I have some rice vinegar, and we're just gonna pour that in. And we'll just mix it all up. Sesame seeds. Let's do some sesame oil as well. Just a teaspoon. And that's it. All right, now we'll just let that sit until everything else is ready. So I just made some rice inside today. All right, but we're gonna make turn it into sushi rice. I still have the same pack of vinegar powder. So there's a good amount that comes in here. It's already my third batch of sushi rice, I think. So I just got this delivery maybe an, two hours ago and check out the tuna. This is the tuna here. Ooh, yeah, they sent me some nice chew turtle right here. You know, guys know what chew turtle is? It's medium fatty bluefin tuna. So this section right here would be considered chew turtle, which is an amazing, amazing cut. Probably my favorite cut on a bluefin tuna. And the top portion is the, the red meat, akami. Do a little pat dry. So you can order tuna from them a couple different ways. In steaks like this, or they also sell it in saku. Saku is a block of tuna that's mainly used for sushi. And they sent me this one because it had chew toro in it. You wanna cut with the grain for now because the meat is very tender and it'll just break apart very easily. So for now, you just want it cut with the grain, okay? Not against. Because I'm just going to slice these. I'm going to slice these up. See that? Ooh, that's beautiful. All right, once you have a block like this, now I can slice sort of like sashimi pieces. And this is sushi grade tuna. So you can eat it right away, right when you get it. Just fresh, raw tuna. And it's going to be so good. So nice long strokes, single stroke. That's how you cut sashimi, starting from the very heel of the knife and just in one slice, one single slice, 
just like that. So I actually know this company through Primetime Seafood, which is a whole wholesale distributor that mainly sells to fish markets and restaurants. And I believe their father is the owner of Primetime Seafood. And this is sort of the spinoff of that company because they wanted to provide the same quality fish that they provide to restaurants to you guys, to directly to the consumer. Now you can get that same restaurant quality just right at your doorstep, directly to your door, literally. So basically just cut it in half first. So you can get a nice block here and then you can slice into sashimi. I got the sushi rice, got our bowls. Green onions here. And the cucumber. Jocelyn loves cucumber. I was just thinking that. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, mm, I love cucumber. <laughs> and I have chopped wasabi. This is chopped wasabi. Some people call it wasabi relish. Um, so they, what they do is actually they chop up the leaves and the stems of the wasabi and they mix it with some fresh wasabi as well. And this stuff is delicious. And you can find this usually in the frozen section in the Japanese markets. Because, um, yeah, you have to keep it frozen if you're not going to use it. Once you open it, you got to use it up, pretty much. I have some soy sauce as well that we'll just uh, pour on top individually. There you have it, guys. Just a very simple bluefin tuna donburi with chutoro and akami. Look at this chutoro right here. Wow, it's beautiful. Where it, the color transitions from a light red to almost pinkish. That pinkish color, this, the bottom here. That's where that fat lies. That's where all that goodness is. And that is delicious. Oh yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Got my hazy IPA from Eel River Brewing Company. And I'm drinking Bear Bottle. It's one of my favorite breweries in San Francisco. And this one is the Jelly Monster Boysenberry Kettle Sour. Bear Bottle's still offering beers to go. So if you're low on beer, head over to Bear Bottle. Big shout out to Riviera Seafood Club. Thank you guys for hooking it up. This looks amazing. And you guys need to hit them up. You guys can be making this by tomorrow. Uh, they deliver directly to your door and they're amazing people. You mean, you're supporting a good family business that's really doing well for everybody um, and bringing something that normally you can only get in the restaurant and bringing it straight to you. You don't need to go to the fish market. You just order online and boom. And they will get your order in right away. So hit them up. I'll leave a link in the description below for their website. And you can check out some of the other things they have like King Kampachi, which I will be doing another episode on. Uh, they have some amazing shrimps and they have Wagyu beef on there too. A5 Wagyu beef. So you guys can get all that stuff from Riviera Seafood Club. Yes, this reminds me of the the bowl from Okinawa. Mm. Oh, that was so good. Mm. All right, cucumber. let's see. Cucumber, how's that? Mm. Perfect. Mm. Yeah, cucumber's great. Mm. Let's try this tuna. Let's try this tuna though. Oh yeah. Mm. 
very soft. Mm -hmm. Ooh, so soft, so tender, so delicious. Ooh. <clears throat> and let me try with some of this wasabi. Oh, this is a perfect bite right here. Wasabi is good, tuna is amazing, super fresh, really tender and delicious. All right, let me try the chew total piece. Oh, I just tried it. Melts. There we go, chew total. Cheers, guys. It's good, huh? Oh. <laughs> oh, that is so good. From what I've heard, the bluefin tuna numbers, the Pacific bluefin tuna, uh, is climbing in numbers actually the past few years they've act actually been growing the population so that's a really good sign and these efforts to you know be more sustainable really make a difference the pacific bluefin tuna is not on the endangered list um you know we want to keep it off that list it doesn't melt directly away but you get to chew a couple times and then it's just like starts to melt away slowly mm. and that's what i love about chew toro like old toro the premium fatty tuna the very belly portion of the tuna it's almost too fatty and it just kind of melts away mm. like it melts so fast Chutoro but chew toro has a nice balance oh that was good mm. i meant to take more close-ups but i ate that pretty fast <laughs> <I didn't get> <laughs> <laughs> and today all i made all i used was ingredients i had in the fridge because I don't want to go to the store I'm trying to ration and make sure we take as least trips to the store as possible mm -hmm. um you know just at this time when while we're in this quarantine no this is all worked out perfectly i already had this sliced cucumber i had the green onions so worked out perfectly and it's just simple <laughs> simple simple tuna donburi and delicious i mean i have a little bit left so i'm gonna make another one i think because <laughs> i still have rice too <laughs> Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. As always, if you guys like the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace. Second bowl. <laughs> it's so good. Well, I'm going to enjoy this. See you guys.